Hello and welcome back to DevExplaining. So I was recently asked the question, which Java version should I get? Uh, there is a lot of choices actually right now and for some it might be confusing. So I decided to take a very quick whack at it. So stay tuned, I will go through uh, how you can evaluate the choices. Should you get uh, Adopt OpenJDK, uh, OpenJDK, Oracle Java or Coret or whatever uh, choices you have. So let's get started. Uh, I think the uh, first question you should ask yourself is uh, what are you looking for? So uh, how often do you plan to update Java major version? Uh, do you need the minor updates? Do you need to get the security uh, patches installed? Because I know a lot of coders who just install some Java and never touch it uh, until they change the laptop. Uh, while I would not necessarily advocate that, it's good to understand what are your needs because if you don't intend to touch Java at all, uh, it doesn't matter that much uh, what's the life cycle or support plan for it. Another question is that uh, uh, what do you need? So do you need just the core Java? Are you creating Spring Boot ap applications? Or do you need, for example, JavaFX or Flight Recorder or Mission Control? So uh, let's go through ch uh, some choices. Uh, I dropped a link in the descriptions because somebody has already researched this and I would be only uh, repeating pretty much the same thing. So I will instead refer to an article and let's discuss that one. Let's go. So uh, the link is uh, devexperts.com and this is a blog article. It's almost a year old. So uh, there has been some new players. Some things may have slightly shifted, but I think the main points hold true. So as I said, I'm just going to quickly go through some main points from this article. So uh, earlier, uh, uh, before this kind of split to different parts, uh, for a very long time, I think up to Java version 8, we just downloaded the JDK, Oracle JDK typically, and that was it. We did have some competing uh, virtual machine options like IBM, Java, and then we had the WebLogic tuned Java. But mostly it was just uh, the basic Java. However, the licensing changed uh, since then, so from Oracle, uh, you can kind of get two brands of Java. So we have the commercial Java, Oracle JDK, and then we have the Oracle Open JDK. First one costs money, but then you go get uh, better support and a lot more kind of uh, extra things. And th second one, you can just download for free. Um, Java went quite some time ago uh, to open source, which is cool and great stuff. So mainly this question is about the builds, the various builds, who is building, packaging and supporting and what are they kind of putting in the package. So most of these are pretty much op open source based. Uh, it's the same code be beneath there. So uh, if you go for the Oracle Java, then you have the kind of license uh, models uh, depending on your processor and uh, for many people, uh, this this was kind of easy choice for the servers because you just continue you are still getting the JDK you just pay for the license and you get a little bit better support. But then we have the other option uh, open source JDK. Anybody can grab that produce a build and post it. So one option obviously would be for you to grab that code and make your own build. So then you can add more brands here, but. Uh, there is a lot of uh, options for this already, so here is a good list. So we have the commercial JDK, Red Hat has a package JDK, Amazon has Coretto package JDK. So they are providing the support and, and updating the builds uh, when they need to be updated. Then we have Azul Zulu, which is uh, another commercial option uh, with a little bit different licensing conditions, but great support. And finally, we have the Oracle OpenJDK and Adopt OpenJDK, which can widely be used. And uh, they are pretty vanilla uh, builds from the source code. So nothing special, not all things are supported. But on the other hand, you can just get, grab that and install it on your machine without any license concerns. Uh, well, of course, there's a license, but you don't need to pay for the license. So it's a normal open source license. Okay. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, before you go shopping, you should decide what you're looking for. So long-term support options is one. Uh, once you install Java, are you okay with updating it every half a year? 
and installing a new major version and going through any changes that have happened. If so, then Oracle OpenJDK will be quite enough for you. On the other hand, is it a problem uh, if uh, it gets outdated? So do you really update your, your Java anyway every half, half like every half a half month? So do you download the bug fixes and security patches and keep everything up to date? If so, then you want a build that supports that model and that's uh, not going to be OpenJDK then. Then you want to be looking, so, sorry, Oracle OpenJDK. So in that case, you are looking for so something that actually uh, gives you long-term support. Yeah, as I mentioned, then there's the licensing cost, uh, support for extra features and uh, support by uh, IDEs supported platforms. So again, there's some variants here where you can even get certain choice. For example, you get Ubuntu Linux, then you have a limited uh, list of what you can get there anyways. So yeah, as I mentioned, we have the commercial JDK. There's the long-term support options. Uh, most vendors right now support two levels of Java. So there's Java 8, so that's still going strong and for many, many more years it will get the security patches. As you can see, you can pay for them, but you also have a kind of uh, options where you don't need to pay for the updates. But Java 8 is still kind of a valid, uh, valid level to stay. And then we have Java 11, which also has a support. It's kind of after 8, that's your next uh, long-term supported virtual machine. And we don't have the next one, but I think Java 17 will be the next one receiving long-term support. So the intermediate versions uh, typically are not supported very long. And if you take the OpenJDK build, uh, they are not uh, kind of maintained at all. So uh, if you pay for the license, take the Oracle JDK, then you get a few versions that will be supported for a long time. So uh, obviously the Oracle uh, commercial Java contains anything. So we have Java FX, it's supported on JDK 8 level. Uh, we have the flight recorder, mission control. If you have been using those, it's one consideration. And install for j uh, packaging tool, so how to make uh, easy installers and, and uh, package your Java software for the kind of uh, user interface, Java, so well, traditional, uh, kind of uh, user interface, AWT, Swing or JavaFX packaging, so you can install it easily on many platforms. So you get all that uh, if you pay some money. Then we have the Red Hat uh, OpenJDK, free and open source implementation, only available on some platforms, obviously. Uh, but if you can use it on, on your uh, platform, then it's going to be good. Uh, you have to I think you have to have the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So it's free to use within Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So you actually have to pay for the operating system. But if you already do that, then you can get a good supported Java package uh, on top of that. Yeah. And there's long term support plans again for the most uh, popular ones. So version 8, version 11. I know that some people are still running Java uh, even, even on Java 6. I recently haven't seen anything older, but even that is getting uh, some support. Although for Java 6, the support has ended pretty much over for 7 as well. But with 8 and 11, you still have few years to go. And uh, the support might actually be extended if there's a, a lot of people still running these versions when, when the deadline is, is reached. I've got a lot of advertisement from Azul. I don't know this build myself. Uh, I haven't used it, but I know it's a commercially supported, uh, fully tested, certified implementation of Java. So it should be quite compliant and we are getting uh, extensive support. So it will run you up to 2026, 2027. And as I said, I expect that these might sometimes even go further uh, over time. So this is one year old article I haven't checked all the details, so there might be some kind of updates. Yeah, then we have the Oracle OpenJDK. As I mentioned, main uh, thing, I, I often get asked, uh, cannot I just get OpenJDK? Sure you can. OpenJDK is great. Uh, it will work for you. Once you download it, it will work amazingly for you. However, six month support cycle. 
no long-term support. So as I mentioned, that might be okay for you if it's a developer machine, might be that you are already doing things like that, so you are not updating the Java. Perhaps you should, there is often security vulnerabilities that are being patched or bugs, sometimes in very important areas as well. But anyway, if you haven't been updating your Java any, anyway, then this is not going to make a big difference for you. But if you like to get those patches, updates, then you are probably looking to get something else. Uh, Amazon Coretto, no cost, multi-platform production ready distribution of open Java. So uh, it's one, other, one of the other choices. And uh, as I al al earlier mentioned, the platforms where you can get this that's a, a deciding factor. So for example, if you are using Ubuntu or Red Hat Enterprise Linux, this is an option for you. I think there was some, yeah, this is a, there is more options, but I'm not going to dive into that. You can look it up, but anyway, available for download, available for use at no cost. So there is no additional paid features or restrictions. It's just a packaging of the same Java. We can see that, uh, contains Java effects. So if that's your thing, it's an interesting, interesting feature. Then we have uh, support for flight recorder and mission control. So again, uh, those are pretty cool tools. So it's nice, nice to have them here. Adopt Open JDK. This has typically been my choice. So uh, I get long-term support for Java versions 11 and 8. This gives me plenty of time to be updating to the next uh, long-term support version. So I can even run production loads on these, but I definitely typically choose this, choose this for my own, own machine. Uh, there is no commercial support. So this is supported by the community and sponsors right now. Sponsors do bring a little bit of commercial there, but still there is no licensing fees free to use all in, in all environments, uh, in, including production and in all the supported platforms. Uh, I'm mostly using it in, in Linux. So in that sense, uh, most of these options are valid for me. But as I said, if you are uh, using some other platform, you might have a little bit less choices. Uh, this is okay for me, but no, do note that it doesn't support Java Flight Recorder, Java Mission Control, does not support Java FX, although you can get that separately, but it's not built in. You cannot easily just download that and start your Java FX application. You need to package in the extra libraries. Java FX is still pretty cool tech. I think uh, I've been kind of monitoring it, but I know that it's not relevant for many, many, many people, for most Java users. But it's still alive, at least, perhaps even more so now that it can be, uh, you can get it separately on top of your Java. So I think that was a quick run through. There is more. Um, I think I earlier showed you SDK man uh, that can be used to install Java. And then there is an option of JDKs. So you can see that we actually have a little bit more these days. We have Graal, which is very interesting virtual machine because um, uh, it has been, uh, you can use, use it to run multiple languages, not just Java. And it's going to a little, little bit different direction from uh, kind of old JDK. So it's a wilder and faster moving new world. Uh, there's few newcomers, uh, Liberica, for example, SAP machine. But you can see same choices here. You can automate your installation for the supported uh, virtual machines like this. So, sorry, not just virtual machine the JDK. Uh, these days, JDK and the virtual machine are more fused together. So earlier there was separate JDK and JRA, but that distinction doesn't live anymore. So we just have Java. And once we get it, we get the tools, we get the packaging and, and uh, run times. Yeah. So I hope this uh, uh, brought you some uh, kind of ideas on how to select the optimal Java platform. Uh, none of these are wrong choices. Some of these have the licensing fees, so then you have to be prepared to deal with that. If you do, you get a lot, uh, you get the long-term support and better tooling. Uh, then we have the free license versions that you can just download and start using right, right away. They all pretty much have some limitations, the platforms, the tooling, for example. Uh, so you have to consider that um, the typical question was, 
Is it okay to get OpenJDK? And as I said, yes, but no long-term support. But otherwise, it's still quite valid choice, so go ahead and get that. Um, how about Adopt OpenJDK that I often promote? It's okay, but as I mentioned, uh, it has long-term support, but uh, it, not all platforms are necessarily supported. So your favorite platform might be missing, for example, and all the tooling is not there. So if you need, uh, if you if you are looking for the flight recorder or uh, need to include Java effects, then that's not a good build for you probably. So uh, there is some some kind of factors, but as I said, none of the choices are bad. And with the SDK man or some other tools, why not install? few options so you can experiment yourself and figure out what works for you and further you can also obviously create some docker images that already contain the base stuff set up the way you like it yeah i think uh, that covers pretty much all the things so uh, this was quite a rather quick one uh, no need to spend a lot of time on this as i mentioned in the end there is no real bad choices for you and the differences are not that much I think the main difference is whether you pay for it or not. And after that, it's just the nuances, which, which one is good for you. So thanks for tuning in and see you again next week. We'll have more topics to cover. Bye-bye.